mistaken. That's what you said, yeah, right? He, he so, beat him at the big house. Yeah. So they already faced each other, and Michael still get that uh, that match. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen right now on that game. Oh man, that is not good. <laughs> he just used the vanish right onto the stage. Didn't get arrested for it, which is uh, kind of sus. But I was talking to Fizz earlier. I said, "Hey man, I'm not super familiar with you. Who are you? What's your story? What's your game plan?" I feel like I, it's a tag I don't see very often. And he said that he was a player from Colorado. Um, and that he was a chess player and he had like 1600 ELO or something like that when he played. So he's a pretty smart guy. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Never been able to play chess myself. So for now actually get a good center, but he lets Michael get through. So now Michael get the control in front of the over overcome it just a bit and they're fighting at the edge. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay, well, I mean, that's one way to get a stock right now. <laughs> That's so sad. That's so sad when that happened. There are like tiny skirmish and you lose your stock because of a miss Wayland. But at least Fizz just, you know, closing it up by taking up the stock right there. Yeah, he's trying to do everything he can, trying to space around. I like the use of the needles there to kind of keep Michael out at bay, but the crouch was smart there. He could have almost gotten a rest, but decided not to go for it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Nice up there. Take care of your landing, bro. Nice snare just to cover, just in case. Stopping Fizz right there, so he got the ground up now. Ooh, try to get the center, but nice snare, nice snare as a wall. Yeah, Fizz is looking good right now. You see how he's doing his best in the pro time stage. You mentioned that earlier. He's also making great use of the fast fall forward air from Sheik. Because a lot of things about Puff is her quick horizontal momentum, right? It's hard to kind of stuff her out. Most characters can't really do that. And Sheik doesn't go super far when she jumps. But that's true. Fizz making it work. Yeah, he got quite a good control. Ah, good call right there. Just falling down fair to cover uh, that recall low from Sheik. But uh, yeah, Fizz got quite a good control actually with all those needles, all those uh, preventive moves right there, making some tiny pressure. Jab down here. Now we got the back air. Soft one though, but still making the pressure. But nice, nice tiny hit by Michael. But Fizz Ooh. not impressed, not impressed at all. What was that DI, man? <laughs> I felt like he was dying kind of early there, but it's all right. Oh my god, that forward tilt was scary, but maybe not wanting to risk it. But I mean, so just go for the rest on Sheik, man. You're not going to get a huge punish no matter what, whether she comes back hits you or not. See, it's fine. He's not going to die. You're going to take maybe like 20%. Okay, we cool. Oh, yeah, but right now, unfortunately, I, f I feel like if he missed the next one, like for sure now, if he missed the next one, that's going to be over. So he can't use that rest during that stock because if he's died well, he's just going to die afterwards. So now the... Now it's gonna be tough for Michael. Really tough. Oh, All right. Okay. Tries with the forwarder, and it's looking weird. Usually in this matchup, usually you see the the opposing player going up against the puff, the one stuck in the corner. But in this time, it, it's Viz who's just sitting there holding center, forcing Michael to come to him, and somehow he's picking the correct option every single time. Mm. I love how Michael is keeping the ground up, also. Like, he's really facing the Sheik, just like at the center, on the ground, not playing a lot with all the platform, knowing it can be dangerous to get hit by those back air and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But just turn around them, find the back air, maybe the edge guard, let him take the edge, and found the grab, which is really nice, since earlier we were just like throwing out move. So get cold, he called him my surprise, and there now the fair on the landing. Really good call by Michael, and now the rest is on the deck. Yes, yeah, so all he needs to do is find maybe that one up tilt, maybe get Reed a, a bad roll or something, but first he has to get his way back to center stage, and we can see that Fizz is pressuring it with these shuffle fares. All right, one backer to get in. That's a little bit more percent, but Ooh. he will not be able to get it. It looks like Fizz is going to be able to seal out game one. Yeah, really nice. As I said, like, Fizz got a really nice control. I mean, as soon as uh, Michael is cornered, he built so many percent, like so many and many and many. He's really good just make make the pressure with those fair, the needle, those tilt, stuff like that. It's really, really, really good, actually. Didn't really try any grabs because you know it can be dangerous by crouch rest, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So obviously at the last talk with that many percent on the path, you won't necessarily try it, but it's not that much into oh. it anyway. Okay, almost got a beautiful, oh, see, moments like that where he goes for that dash attack, that is a prime opportunity to get that rest. But Michael's saying he Ooh. doesn't need it. Look Ooh. at this chain off this stage, Faustus. My God. Really nice follow-up on all the DI right there. I got to say, like, the third up air really impressed me. Like, just jumping on the platform while hitting his opponent and then following up with all those back air. Man, Michael, Michael is no joke, man. Yeah, Michael, I mean, honestly, he's kind of impressing me uh, in a weird way because I feel like most puffs don't opt to use the forward air as much. It's much worse of a spacing tool in general in comparison to back air. And a lot of times it just gets crouch canceled and punished, but yet we're seeing Michael put it to great use here and trying to work his way in. Yeah, get the grab, but it get caught by the fair and fortunately right there. Cornered. Try to make some back air, try to make some space. 
around him to be able to get back on stage. But Fizz, once again, with that control, man, with all those needles, building person, one fair, and that can be it for Michael right now. Back and forth, really not the sweet spot, though. Oh, once again, those needle, man. He's just gonna throw out those fairs over and over until Michael is able to find a way to weave through the pressure and get around those forward airs. He's just gonna keep throwing it out over and over again. He has to guess the timing and punish correctly. Man, he's so good at covering and ending. Like, he's really good at it. That's crazy. Like, all those up air, those fairs, the back air and stuff like that. And once again, I love that tiny delay of the back air, actually. Maybe he even messed up the GI form from these fees. Yeah, and that's what I'm wondering from Michael here. Like, generally, the game plan against Sheik as buff is you want to get Sheik off stage, force her to use Vanish, and then punch that with either throwing her off stage again or getting that rest. And I feel like up until this point, this has had a fairly easy time recovering back to the stage. Yeah, that's true, actually. And once again, in the control, man, just in the control. You beat so many percent, man. That's just crazy. All right. Nice, nice, really nice. Michael tried to get to, to sneak into the center, but this was just ready for it. Just turn around, make that fair, hitting him, and once again, corner again. Yeah, Michael is struggling to get out of this spot. This is going to be the defining, uh, basically, positioning of this entire set. If, until he figures out how to get out of the corner, it, it's looking pretty free for Fizz right now. Oh, good, wonderful call right there. He knew Fizz loved to jump a lot, a lot, a lot. And he just like sneak under to find the first up there and then second one. Not that many percent though, but still getting back the center, making some respect right there. All right, there we go, Michael figuring it out now. Oh my goodness, gets hit by the, the, the poof of the vanish. 168%, this is a healthy Jigglypuff living here on Dreamland. And what the hell, man? Oh, okay. That was actually a good try. I mean, Michael was going off stage, so maybe the explosion would have reached him there. That was funny, though. I think he wanted to, you know, to slide, like, yeah, to do the, the poof back. and then come back. That's yeah, what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah. Didn't quite get the, uh, the like momentum cancel off the edge. Exactly. Okay, 124. If he gets off stage, there it is. It should be pretty easy for Michael to get this edge guard. Gonna land on stage, hit him with a back air. Oh, up smash. Oh, not enough, though. Not enough. Incredible GI by Fizz, though. Like, was ready for the up smash. Like, he's GI, GI on the side and not up. Expecting back air or forward smash. A really good call. Alright, and now we're seeing that Fizz is at the deficit here. This is very easily could be uh, Michael's first win in this set here. Gonna see how he tries to finesse to close this out. But Fizz has had a, a pretty sh easy time killing Michael outside of that last stock up yeah. until that very healthy stock. And you know, shout out to Dreamland for that. If he's able to get this one a little more quickly, this could very quickly be a tie game. Oh, and there we go for the landing once again. Michael is so good at it, man. He's a shark. He's a real shark, man. This buff's no joke for that, it's just crazy good. And now the grab, wonderful one after the spot dodge, ready to make, to just frighten that poor Sheik, taking the edge now, and the back here. Nice tag for the knee, not the take roll, so he will take the stock right there. And the game. Okay. So that was a much better game for Michael than in comparison to the first one. It looked like he started to adapt uh, very well in terms of how to open up on Fizz, right? He saw Fizz spamming these shuffle fares in front of him in the corner, and now he's mixing, oh my god, oh. You knew what that was supposed to be. Yeah, for sure. But that, as you said, like, it's really good to definitely adapt on that. Like, all those shot up, just sneak under, make yeah. those up here, just build some person, ooh, sexy. Mix up the time, there we go, that's the rest. And the like, thing I like is when he missed that rest the first time, he started pre-mashing because he knows the most optimal thing for Sheik to do is to get that grab. And unless Fizz buffers a down throw with the C-Stick, he's not going to get that free pummel. Yeah, true, true, true. One thing I'm a, a bit surprised about Fizz, though, is like he's not using much of the down smash, which is a, which is a really good tool against mm. the shield of pop because he often shield stop the puff, but it's not using it at all. Uh, neither the grab, actually. So I can understand for the grab because it can be dangerous. You right. can get dressed out of it if you crouch or stuff like that. But I feel like it might be conditioning at that some point that where it will need the grab. But for the down smash, I'm still really surprised. Oh, okay. Weighing it out. And yeah, nice tech so. from Michael. All right. And then they're out of shield because it's just above him, obviously. Wonderful one. All right. Back the center. Building some person with the needles. There you go, he's the down smash he was talking about, but that time he teched out and actually got punished for it. So maybe that was something he was scared of before, and now the back air chain carrying off stage. Yeah, the thing was just like at low percent, you just get one hit, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah, you get punished for it, for sure, for sure. All right, there's a dash attack. Oh. Weak oh. punish, as I say oh that, my. never mind. 
following even with the shy guys. Like, yeah, they help you to, they help you to jay away. And I'm like, bro, bro, I'm so good at covering your landing. That, that won't be enough. That just won't be enough. But at first, I was a little worried. I was like, wow, you didn't just rest the dash attack. But he said, I wanted to get two up airs in first. And that's the thing I love about melee, man. There's no one right way to play the game. There's always different routes you can take to get the punish. Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Try to get this exhibition again. And I actually like how Frizz is trying to Edgar Puff. Most times, people would just let her have the edge. Nice covering Randall. Perfect coverage altogether. And usually, you don't see Puff get edge guarded. Yeah, for sure. But that was definitely a really good one. But I feel like he's exploited. Oh! Oh! Crouch canteling that down smash at low person. Ready to punish it with the rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you said, man, a low person is not, it's definitely not the best ID. But I love how uh, Michael is dealing actually with the with the recovery because he's always like recovering low and just like closing it up, like sticking to the wall, ready to just avoid all the needle, avoiding or ready to take any kind of aerials. But Fizz definitely adapt really well to that, and we saw that at the last previous stock. Oh, okay. Does that a uh, wave line nair to the fair? I like that coming out from Fizz. Trying to work on a Michael here is getting close to ending out the stock. One more well-placed fair could be it for Michael if he can't get out the corner here. Back air in his way, like most puffs would do, but not finding the bread. All right. Nice, good call. Delayed just a bit that fair about just getting backward and forward just a bit. Catching that jump, I guess. Oh, it's so scary, those crouch cancel, man. I know, man. And that's... That's why for Sheik, this, this matchup can be a it can be a pain to deal with sometimes. There's just a lot of tools you want to use that you are familiar with using in every other matchup, but this one you have to be so careful and use them almost exclusively as mix-ups. Yeah, true. Ooh, could have been huge. Foreign leaves across up the dash tag, avoiding the up smash, but now we're waiting for the for the shocking. But what wavelength to avoid that up there and finally missing out the rest and fooling for Michael and get part of the up smash. Not enough to get the kill though. He's working on it. One more fair should be enough. Fizz grabbing left, doing that nair once again. We seem to get a lot of mileage out of that. Again, perfect tech. Oh, should not have down smashed, but I don't think he realized that was going to happen. I know where that dress come from, Michael. I know it pretty well. And for an so yeah, he missed it. Okay, good fair there, good fair. All right. But yeah, as I said, like now Fizz so is taking the edge, as you say. So it's frightening all the recovery low from Michael. Even if Michael take those and Fournis, so he missed the rest. Nice fast fall to avoid the back air right there. But uh, now Michael gonna maybe need just to adapt a bit on his recovery. Maybe sometimes try to get high, sometimes uh, try to get low. I don't know. But if he's, if he's uh, keeping going low each time, every time, he'll get punished by by Fizz potentially. The goal here for, for Fizz is to try and stay in the lead as long as possible. The game becomes a completely different game when you're the one forced to approach Puff. But as long as she's trying to work towards you, it's a lot easier to work around here and try to get a counter hit. Yeah. Oh, oh. on the jump! On the jump! And right away, making that rest! Making it to one stock to one right away! Oh! And we got ourselves here a match, Faust. This Oh yeah, we got one, man. Come down to why are we going to game five, or is this going to be a three-one in a handshake? What a good! Oh, place. that was so risky. <gasps> All right, good shield, really good shield that up there. Okay, trying to fight for the center. Nice drive to drift away, but the fair just right away after sliding on the top platform. Now he's keeping the center, but what a grab from Michael. Careful with that double jump. Oh, he's getting scared. You can see the tech flubs coming out. He has no jump. He made it back to the platform. All right, now Michael's looking real hurt here, but it's just a matter of perfect tech again. Yeah, he's ready for those, he's ready, but still the person are still building up. And they can be dangerous at any point now. If you're a buff on your shit story, you know you oh can't be dead. Oh my god! He sneaked under, avoiding the fair, catching that, avoiding it, and just counter-attacking it, catching it at the landing. A reverse? And with a reverse, screwing up 